Before activating a license, check the license state and ensure that the license file matches the device. On some routers, a license file is preloaded and activated prior to shipment. You can check whether a license file has been activated by running the display license state command. If info no license is activated is displayed, no license file has been activated. If the displayed state is trial, a trial license has been activated. To disable a trial license, run the license trial disable command. If the displayed state is demo, a fixed term license has been activated, or if the state is normal, a permanent commercial license has been activated. To revoke a fixed term or permanent commercial license, run the license revoke command. You need to check whether the license file matches the device. Start by obtaining the device's ESN by running the display license ESN command. Then use a text editor to display the license file. Check that the ESN displayed in the command output is the same as that in the license file. Because each license file is bound to a device, ensure that you upload each file to the correct device if there are multiple devices. Otherwise, activation of the license files may fail. After completing the check, upload the license file to the device's main control board. For a device with two main control boards, run the copy command to copy the license file to the slave main control board. Run the License Verify command to verify the license file. If the verification succeeds, run the License Active command to activate the license file. Verification succeeds if Verify License Succeeded is displayed. It may fail if the license file is invalid or if ESNs, versions, or product types do not match. In this case, you need to apply for a new license file and then activate it. If an ESN or version mismatch is found the first time, you can still attempt to activate the license file. However, the activation fails and the license module then automatically enters the trial state. In this case, obtain and activate a valid license file within the 60-day validity period. After the license file is activated, run the display license command to check whether the license is running properly and whether the license items meet requirements. If two dashes are displayed in item type, the item is a sales item. The value function indicates a function control service license, and the value resource indicates a resource control license. If port enable RTU is contained in description of a resource control license, the license is a hardware RTU. If port enable RTU is not contained in description of a resource control license, the license is a resource control service license. Typically, you should check whether the license items and the number of resources meet project requirements. If you find any exception, contact the project sales personnel 